Hallelujah. Praise God. My name is Pastor Daniel Olao and they fully call P. Daniel. I thank God for how he has been helping us for the past uh, nine days of this program. Today is day 10. I believe you are free already. I, I, I know that you can't even wait for day 21 to share your testimony with me. I know you are free already. And then thank you for the testimonies I've been receiving. Uh, please, you can send your testimonies to my email via testimonies at pdanielolawande.com testimonies at pdanielolawande.com and then you can also order for your book uh, Addiction. This book will be a blessing to you. You can order from, for the book via Okada Books via Amazon or you can directly call my office via the details on your screen so that it will be delivered to you. Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we give you all the praise. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters watching this program today. I pray that they are free. I pray that deliverance come to them. I pray that the word will come with power and they are free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we are free. Amen. Today's topic on day 10 is discover your identity. Uh, discover your identity. Romans 6.14 says, For sin shall no longer have dominion over you. For you are not under the law, but under grace. Mm. And Romans says, Our true identity is found when we stop being who we are and start becoming who we are created to be. 2 Corinthians 5.17 If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. When we understand our identity in Christ, who we are in, it, it changes the way we think and live. A man that is born again, a woman that is born again, is a new creation, is a new person. The reason why addiction kept plaguing you is because you don't know who you are. Some of you think that you cannot be free. Some of you think that you cannot be in charge. Some of you think that you cannot break free. That's a lie. You are free. Your identity in Christ is that you are free. You need to understand your identity. Like I always say more honestly, when you understand your identity, you end up a celebrity. If you don't understand your identity, you end up a non-entity. The devil likes to deceive those who don't know. But guess what we know? We know that we are saved. We know that we are free. Ah, someone say I'm free. Say I'm free. Someone shall say I am free. You are free. The chain is broken. The snare is broken. You are free already. So don't allow the devil cage you. Don't allow the devil keep you down. Say you can't be free. That's a lie. You can't be free. They say so. You're going to live with it forever. That's not true. I came out of it. You can come out of it. You are free. Any man that is born again and is a child of God, that man, I, I think I remember, is you know, in day, day three, that was about genuinely repenting. If you have repented, you have walked out of this life and you have picked a new life, you are free. That's your identity in Christ. Freedom is your identity. You are saved. Sin is a dethroned monarch. It doesn't have power over you anymore. It doesn't have control over you anymore. You are in charge. You are no longer the lawyer under grace. Grace is made available for you. Sin is no longer your schoolmaster. Sin is no longer your leader. You are now a new man in Christ Jesus. You need to understand this. That he that is born again is free. He that is free is free. He that the Son of God has set free is free. Indeed, you are indeed free. And I pray for you today that the revelation of your freedom will dawn on you and you will live above this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thanks for joining again today. Please share this video with your friends and your family because light has come. Let them experience the same light. And I will see you tomorrow. I can't wait to hear from you. God bless you.